Hi and welcome to the Photography Accelerator Workshop. My name's Luke and today I'm in the heart of London, right outside the Millennium Bridge. This is such a beautiful location to photograph in and today we're going to do a photo blitz. A photo blitz is a really short, sharp session where you just spend less than 20 minutes just photographing one specific area. I really like photo blitzes as they really focus the mind, you get really good results in a very short amount of time. Because I've been here quite a few times before, I know where a lot of the key shots are. I'm going to show you my favourite shots that I like capturing here. So let's get to it. Unfortunately, the first location I was going to take you guys to, to do the photo blitz, it has like scaffolding to my left. So this shot is out of bounds at the moment. And this is a typical situation with photography. You go to this amazing location, you want to take these great shots. And the weather's bad or the building's under scaffolding or it never really quite works out. These are the problems we have to face all the time. but what we have to do is we have to get creative and find the shots that we can take. So instead of taking this shot, which I can't do now, and I'll have to come back at another time, I'm going to try and find some other shots I can take of this Millennium Bridge and hide the fact that it's under development. So behind me is probably the saddest looking pigeon I think I've seen in a long, long time. Poor little bugger, looks like he's got no friends. Let's say hi to him. I've just found my next location now. So obviously the bridge above me was out of bounds with the scaffolding and the building work. But the shot I'm going to take now is totally possible. Um, it's a really good strong lead line. Let's see if I can show you. So it's going to be this shot here. We've got the depth added with these cables. We've got the depth added with the bridge. And depending on where I stand, you even start to get a uh, repetition or pattern which is um, with the struts coming out and that also adds um, depth as well so this is a really good shot also I have St Paul's Cathedral in distance and once again depending on where I stand I can make that a feature in the scene as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few shots now and we'll see how we get on I've just taken a few shots now and really happy with how they turned out once again just what I've just said previously the lead line is a really strong beautiful lead line, it just adds so much depth to the scene. Because we see three-dimensionally and we take a 2D plane, as a photographer we we'll always strive to add that depth back into a shot. And one of the really good techniques of doing that is lead lines. That's why photographers love them so much, because they just do the job so well. Another thing I really like is repetition of pattern. It's something that people don't really talk about too much, but also adds a lot of impact. Now that's just when something repeats itself but it gets smaller and smaller into the distance. And that's very similar to the structure here, you see it just behind. Well that just repeats itself, so depending where I stand, that's repetition of pattern, that adds depth to the shot as well. Anyway, we're done here, let's go to our next location and see if we get another shot. The shot behind me I absolutely love, it ticks all the boxes. It's got symmetry and it's got lead lines. So lead lines add the depth into the shot. Symmetry is just harmonious to the eye. The eye just loves symmetrical things. In fact, if you look at beauty, like the most beautiful people in the world are generally more symmetrical than people who aren't as quite as beautiful. Um, so symmetry is a natural thing that we just gravitate towards. And the shot behind me is going to be this one here, where if I stand correctly and angle my camera, um, we're going to be standing directly in the middle. We've got the big braces to sort of anchor the shot and the column or the central column is just going to anchor the scene and it's going to be a really interesting shot. Now to capture this it's a big scene so I'm going to have high apertures, I'm going to keep my ISO relatively low because it's a sunny day today and that's really going to help keep the quality in the shot. There's nothing to do now but just to take the shot and see how we get on. Just taking this shot now, I was really happy with the results. Uh, got that lovely symmetry that I was after and the lead line on the top of the bridge, as you can just see up here, just comes down and just leads the eye to the central point of the photo. So it's really nice. Um, some things that would make it a bit nicer maybe if the tide was higher, um, that would just make it a bit more attractive because there's a bit of beach um, and it just doesn't look quite as nice. And also the, the light's good, got a bit of shadow, got a bit of contrast, so that hopefully adds a bit of depth to the scene as well. Um, something else that I might like to try in the future is a tripod and a slow shutter speed in the lower light levels. And see if we get that blurry movement of the water. I think that could look really nice as well, but that's definitely a shot for another day. And what I really love about photography is you take one shot and it leads to another idea and another idea, and you can just keep on coming back to the same location, trying out different shots and different ideas. So let's see if we can find another shot. Great, so I've just found my next shot and it's actually directly above. If I can show you, 
Yes, you can see it, the mesh, the mesh in the floor there is when you get people standing on it, you get a really lovely silhouetted shape of the feet and the legs. So it can make for a really interesting shot. And there's also a shot that everyone overlooks and no one really notices, but if you just keep your eyes open and always never forget to look up, then there's so many opportunities there. So I'm gonna take a few shots now. Just taking a few shots now, I was really pleased with how they turned out. They've just created a very abstract look, which is really interesting. It's slightly more unusual to what most people see. And that's why I really like shooting up. Look at my camera settings. So I kept it at F8. That's kind of my generic mid distance camera setting that I use all the time. The ISO is kept pretty low. So I think that's about ISO 200 and then the shutter speed is whatever it had to be to balance out the perfect exposure. Once again, had to balance the exposure to try and really silhouette the legs against the background. And because it's quite a high contrast day today, actually added a bit more punch to the scene. And that's what I really like as well. So I'm gonna try and hunt out another shot if I can. Uh, so next time you see me, you'll be in our new location. I've just found my final location and it's, I've crossed over the river and I'm hankering down low underneath the bridge again. So it's very similar to the shot previously, but it's from a different perspective and it's slightly different actually because, let's just get out of the sun. Um, remember how I told you this I saw the building work on the right hand side of the bridge? Well, technically I can't really take this shot because that is still there. So I'm trying to be really cunning and hide it as much as possible. So I always find with photography in London, especially in big cities, that is that you spend most of your time getting rid of distracting elements. That's basically 99% of my job when you're photographing in a city. And if you can't get rid of them, you can't crop them out for whatever reason, the next best thing for you to do is to hide them or minimize them. And the way you can hide them is by adjusting exposure. So in this shot, what I'm gonna try and do is drop the exposure down so it's a really contrasty shot. And I'm also gonna get people in the scene strategically to hide the bits that I don't want as well. So I'm hoping by incorporating these key elements that I can get a decent shot. That's it for today. I was really happy with the results of this photo blitz. I always love photographing the Millennium Bridge. It's such an interesting and unique design. But as you can see, we had to overcome a few problems with the clutter and the building works. Actually, you can just even see some more just behind me. It's such an eyesore in photography and it's something that I always have to strive to overcome and resolve. And actually, because of this, you actually get quite good at minimizing, reducing the impact that horrible elements you have in the scene that you just don't want. So that's me done for the day. I'm going to go and grab a coffee. and I can't wait to see you guys in our next video.